Hey everybody, J-Rock the Game Rocker here with another episode of my video game pickups. I know, I have been terrible with keeping up with these, but I have a plan. I am going to be trying to do monthly video game pickup videos. You may have noticed behind me that my shelf has grown since I've been doing my last pickup videos and I've just lost track. I was writing stuff down and I've just lost track. And I was going to talk about stuff, but I just lost track. How many times can I tell you? I just lost track. I just lost track. So I'm going to, from now on, keep track of what I get per month. And at the end of every month, I'm going to do a monthly pickup video. So this is some stuff that I got throughout the month that I'm going to go through now, starting now. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, first off, let's do it chronologically. And also, this is kind of the biggest news for me, uh, kind of, is a new console for me. Not a new console, but the Atari 2600. Look at the, look at the sheen off that. And uh, a PAL. I actually, I, I used to have an Atari. My first system was the Atari XE, and ended up selling that years, 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 years ago. And uh, I've been Atari-less up until now. So I have this. Picked up a few games along with it. Some good games. Asteroids. Yars Revenge. And Missile Command. Been having a lot of fun playing Missile Command. I was playing this in the store, and so I had to get it as well. Uh, and put that in there. I just I know these I know these games, and uh, first time I played Missile Command the other day, and I'm loving it. So yeah, an Atari finally, and I'm keeping an eye out for an Atari XE, but they're apparently expensive. I looked on eBay, and they're going over 200 bucks for these uh, complete consoles. Uh, yeah. So now that I have this, I'm on the lookout for Atari games. Uh, the top of my list of Atari games I'm looking for is Super Cobra. It is a helicopter game where you shoot and you uh, drop bombs, uh, and it is. I used to play it a lot, so I am looking for that. I believe it's in like the twenty, thirty dollar range. So keeping an eye out for that, uh, as well as some other good ones like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man and all the classics. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the Atari collecting, but okay. Since we're going chronologically, I'll move on to the NES. Actually, before I do that, before I do NES, I picked up some movies. And I picked up on VHS. Believe it or not, me and my wife, we have a VHS collection, but this is also for my Ghostbusters collection. A copy of Ghostbusters on VHS that I, that I don't own. So I picked that up right cheap at uh, Value Village, as well as the next one which is Final Fantasy The Spirits Within on DVD. Oh, I remember going to see this in the theater actually and yeah it didn't do very well at all and didn't get very good reviews because it had nothing to do with any of the Final Fantasy games. It was all like futuristic and spacey like they could, like go to like space and there's like ghosts and it's like uh, it's like ghosts on Mars but it's like CGI. I don't know. It was really impressive at the time the the CGI. It was very lifelike for the time, uh, but it's probably something more commonplace in uh, current gen consoles and stuff to see. But yeah, at the time it was mind blowing. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Add that to the pile of uh, video game movies. Okay, now on to some video games. No, nope, I keep lying, not video games. I picked up a strategy guide, and that is. Final Fantasy X Strategy Guide for the PS2 Final Fantasy X. I actually never played through that to the end, so perhaps I will now if I ever, ever find time as an adult to play RPGs like I used to. But uh, never, never gave this one a good go, so I have the guide. Always fun to play Final Fantasy games with the guide because I hate missing crap. Okay, now! on some games. 
I'd buy that for a dollar. On Nintendo, most recently I picked up Back to the Future 2 and 3 by our beloved LJN. Yeah, not much to say there, but uh, that's an addition to the collection. Put it in, file it under Back to the Future, where it belongs. And then for my American Video Entertainment unlicensed set, Dudes with Attitude. But it just looks like Dudes Attitude, because width is so small. And everyone I show this cart to, they're just like, Dudes Attitude? And I'm like, no, no, no. Dudes with Attitude. The label's a little bit crummy, but not too shabby. Another addition to my unlicensed set. Getting up there. Over, I got 32 so far. I haven't really been picking up too many of those lately. So next I will talk about... It's next chronologically that it is N64. And I picked up Pokemon Puzzle League for way less than it, than it goes for. So I was happy about getting it. I just had I just had to snag it, but uh, yeah, nothing too much to say there except it's just like one of those columns type puzzle games where you line up colors of uh, blocks. Real original guys. And then I got a couple. I'll continue with the Nintendo theme. I picked up a couple GameCube games. I got. 007 Nightfire, nothing too special, very common, very common, but, uh, you know, get, adding this to my James Bond collection, I got one of those going, apparently, and I picked up Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, uh, I'm a little disappointed that it is a player's choice, but I'll probably end up trading that out for, like, just a regular, uh, black label, because I like everything to be uniform. I'm almost there with all my games, uh, but yeah, I enjoyed Mario Golf for the N64, and I never played this one, so it's got to be a little bit better, right? A little bit. All right, and then there was the PlayStation 2. I got a stack of PS2 here, which uh, seems to be a thing, because PS2 right now, if you're into that, there's a lot of great games on the PS2, and you can get them for very cheap and affordable. Some good games. Like, I lucked out here with a few of these deals. So, I will start here, at the top, obviously. I got Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, and as you can see there, I got it for two dollars. And, uh, yeah. Another addition to my Medal of Honor collection. One of those franchises that I'm collecting for, because I, I liked playing that on the original PlayStation, so I fell in love with the series. I got another addition to my Resident Evil collection that I got going, and that's Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. This is uh, one of those games that you can play online with other people. Never did do that on uh, PlayStation 2 play online. Even though I had the PlayStation 2, I never had the network adapter or whatever. I got Music Maker Deluxe Edition. Magix Music Maker Deluxe Edition. And I do have the original Magix Music Maker. And it's not very good, but I do enjoy picking up these various music type games where you can uh, arrange your own music. Rygar, The Legendary Adventure. I've been, uh, heard somebody talking about this on a podcast recently. Can't, re can't recall what one it was, but, uh, I do remember this being very hyped when, uh, when it came out for PS2. That was around the time that I was reading the magazines, PlayStation magazines and such. And this was a, one of those very hyped games, and I hear that it is, does stand up to, uh, the hype, that it is a very good, uh, sort of beat-em-up platformer, uh, thing. What does it say here? Inspired by Greek mythology, this adventure takes you through vast ancient worlds of fantasy and legend, where good and evil collide. The almighty disc armor becomes the essential tool in your quest for victory. Yeah, you're swinging around this, like, disc shield thing. Rygar. Based on the NES game. Of the same name, Rygar. Hey, 
Same, same letters. <laughs> it's the same letters. Same freaking guy. Then I got, just because it looked intriguing to me, Shadow of Destiny. And I picked this up for like three bucks. And it's by Konami. They're a trusted name in gaming. And this looks interesting to me because, listen to this. It looks Clock Tower-esque, first off. It looks like one of those type games. And I think it is. A murder has been committed. Your own. Travel back in time to solve thought-provoking puzzles as you unravel the mystery of your death. See how your actions in the past change blah 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 stuff. I can't read it now because I changed it around, but yeah, you get the gist. Like, pretty cool sounding. It's cool sounding. We'll see how, it's, how it stands up. And then finally, I got Odin Sphere, which I probably spent the most money on any of these PlayStation 2 games. But this is possibly the next Cartridge Club game of the month, so I thought I would get it. And, uh... Even if it's not, if it hasn't passed the voting to be that, if it's in the voting, then it is obviously a good game. Because the club doesn't pick crap games, people. So yeah, Odin Sphere. I, uh, I look forward to hopefully getting some time with it. Like, that's the thing. Finding time. Can't do it. Alright, on to the Wii. I picked up another one towards my Resident Evil set, and that is... Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Like, holy crap, how many friggin' Resident Evil games do we need, people? I just gotta buy them for some reason. Yeah, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. And I believe this is... Yeah, this is one where it's like a first-person shooter. Sort of like, I guess, Resident Evil Survivor and Resident Evil Dead Aim, which is also on... PS2. Not on me, sorry. It's on PS2, Resident Evil Dead Aim. And I have my aim set on that one next. Uh, yeah. And then, I'm really excited about this one. I'm, I can't wait to sit down and play, get some quality time in. With Donkey Kong Country Returns. A huge Donkey Kong Country fan, obviously. Growing up back then, when they came out on the Super Nintendo, they were all the rage. I had all three of them, and I wish I still had them now, because they're so awesome. And, like, oh, I only have the first one right now, so I'm looking for Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. So they are on my list. Alright, on to some handheld stuff. On the PSP, I got one game to show you. And that is the Sega Genesis Collection. I'm always a sucker for these collection games, and this one has a lot of the same games that are on the uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the Xbox. But uh, I believe this is the same port, possibly, as the PlayStation 2 has its Genesis Collection. This has Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, Bonanza Bros, Vector Man, uh, Flicky, Game Ground, Fantasy Star, and many more. So yeah, it's always cool to have collection games, and this one's handheld, so bring this with you. Have more than one game with you in one little disc. And then on the Nintendo 3DS, I'm finally adding some games to my 3DS collection because some of the prices are coming down. Uh, another one for my Resident Evil set of uh, my Resident Evil collection. I've uh, been doing good. You might notice a trend. Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. And uh, this is pretty much plays like uh, Resident Evil 3 Mercenaries sort of mini game, except it plays like control-wise like Resident Evil 5 and stuff, which I, I wasn't that happy about. But what can I expect? That's where they've gone with the series, so that's what they're going with. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's really reminiscent to me of the old Mercenaries mode, which I loved. So, playing a little bit of that when I'm on the go. At work, on break sometimes, I play a little bit of that. And then, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I have been playing it because I've been borrowing a loose copy from my friend. It was nice enough to lend me that. But I finally got my own copy, and 
Good thing I did because it is going up there in price apparently. Uh, it's going. It's around eighty dollars on eBay and such. I happen to find this copy at my local store that I like to frequent for less than thirty dollars. So uh, less than thirty dollars cash, I got this game. It was awesome. Steal of a deal. I was happy about it, and I'm so glad that because they keep their uh, their handheld games behind the counter, and I don't usually go through the bins. I don't usually bother them to bring them out, but I did that day, and I'm glad that I did. So got this for my Zelda collection. It's starting to get there. The Zeldas. And then, wrapping up with my pickups here, the most current gen that I have, I haven't made the, the, the next gen jump, but I have some Xbox 360 games here. And uh, let's start off with Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Juarez, the cartel which is a first-person shooter that takes place in the Old West, so you got my attention. Love that crap. Which leads me to my next one, Red Dead Redemption. Grand Theft Auto in the Old West. I love that crap. And then, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, which is Red Dead Redemption, but with zombies. So, I love zombies, and I love, uh, a little bit of first-person shooter. Wait, this isn't first-person shooter, sorry. I love zombies, and I love, uh, yeah. Uh. And then we have the very suggestive Odomedius Excellent. Boobs. All I have to say is boobs, bloody boobs. The whole thing is just eye candy anime style with boobs. If you're into anime, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not personally into anime, but this is actually a good game, and what it is, it is inspired by the legendary Gradius, 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 I call it Gradius, uh, series, and it very much plays like that. It's a shooter, and it just happens to star these very much looking like Sailor Moon type chicks that have big boobs and ride around on these flying things. And you know what? These flying things don't even look like they have like seats. So they're just like flying around with it up their butt or something. But uh, it is a fun game and it plays like Gradius, how you get the power-ups and upgrade your weapons. It's exactly like that. And the background is always moving and it's like sort of three-dimensional and it has a really cool look. I might do a little bit of a quick review on this in the future as it is a sort of an interesting thing. So yeah, Oda Medius Excellent. I heard somebody talking about it, and I can't recall who it was now. And every time I say, who told me about something, I'm wrong. So yeah. That's all my stuff from in the last month. This has been J-Rock the Game Rocker. Keep on rocking them games! Thanks for watching. Check back soon for more pickup videos. In the meantime, get your fix of me with my weekly vlog, Between a Rock and a Hard Place. Or, take a tour of my friend Matt Fox's game room. Special thanks to the Nestromancer for providing this totally rad music that rocks.